Hi everyone. In this session, we'll learn how to close a parent record when all related child records are closed. Okay, so let's take a use case and example today. So let's take courier table as an example today. So let's navigate to courier table. Let's create a new record. First, we'll do it in a manual way and then we'll automatically use it business rules. Okay, so let's create a new record. Status is here. Let's select some values here. Okay. Let's select an agent here and requested by. So this can be used as a real time scenario as well. So just check it. So assume this courier as a parent record. Okay. Now this new created courier record is a parent record. And here under related to this, we have some courier tasks. So let us insert some courier tasks here, which will be accessed as a child records now. Okay. So let's add some child records here. Uh, let's make it multiple numbers as we are taking scenario as multiple, all related cases are closed, then only the parent should close. So let's add multiple places here. So any random cases. So this is just to check the functionality how it is working. Okay. So now let assume this courier case as a parent record. And these tasks, what are the courier tasks are there as chains. Okay. Now, what is the use case is when all these tasks are changed to closed. Okay. We have status field here, right? On the courier field, we have status field with all these options, including closed. And in the task table, we have same uh, status field with the same options as well. So here we have closed. And in the parent also, we have closed. Okay. When all the related tasks, these three tasks are related to this parent, right? So all these tasks, change it to closed, okay? Then automatically this has to be closed. This parent should be closed, okay? Let's do it manually, how it will work. So it is actually, uh, this current task state is actually is new, okay? We'll make it to close and save it, as well as others also, okay? Let's make it closed, as well as this, okay? Let's save this and save this. So now you can see all the three tasks are closed. So this should be closed. Okay. This is, I'm doing it manually now. So we need to automate this. Okay. So this is the use case today. So we can configure a business tool to achieve this. When all related tasks are closed, all chains are closed, the parent should be auto closed. Okay. So for that, we can write a business rule. So let's navigate to business rules. And in the business room, we can check what are the required conditions and what are the triggering conditions as well. So let's name this business rule as close parent when trails close. So based on your use case, you can give it a name. So as we are checking it from the task table, we are making action on the task table. Okay, we are updating the task table then it is reflecting on the parent table. So here we have to tell it, select the task table, the child table in the business rule, okay? So that is courier task table. We need to select courier task table in the business rule, okay? And we have to mark advanced so that we can do scripting. And in the when to run conditions, we have to give after update, okay? Why? Because after saving this record, then only it should trigger okay that's why we have to select after updating after updating the task to close then only parent should close okay we need to select after update in this case and the condition should be something like status changes to close okay it should not always trigger only when the status is changes to close then only it should trigger then and that's the scripting part Whatever the things we have done with manually, we'll do it from scripting now, okay? So from the task we have, when we close this, after closing all the tasks, we have navigated to parent and check whether it is opened or not. So for that first purpose, first we have to navigate to parent table, okay? So for that, we will write where, let's take a variable here, where parent is equals to new glide record of the parent table's name. So here the parent table's name is you underscore courier. We will take the same here. Then we need to check whether the current task has a parent or not. So for that, we need to check 
like if parent dot get of current dot here we have to give the parent fields backend name which is it is a reference field so we have to give a backend name of that field so that it will check the parent record with the current record okay whether the current record have the parent or not then after that we can also check whether the parent is open or not why because already if it is closed then we need not to update that record okay so only if the parent is not closed then only we have to close that okay so for that purpose we have to take the status field of the parent record here then check it in whether it is not closed or not so for that we will write parent dot status is not equal to the value of closed okay so what will happen is first from the task table it will go to the parent table which is courier table and it will check that the current courier the parent record associated with this task and checks whether it is closed or not if it is closed it will ignore the case if it is not closed then it will go further further here we can write the further code so let's write after that we have to check after navigating to the parent record we have to check all the associated tasks are closed or not so for that we have to write where here we will take child as a variable and we will navigate to the child table which is courier task table so here we need to take courier task table okay and in the queries we have to check it with the current records parents side okay so for that we need to write child dot add query of the current records relation with the parent record so for that we need to check courier field back in name the reference field back in name and the value with the parent CID. as it is a reference field it is stored it will store the CID of the parent record whatever the uh, C study coming from the live record we have done in the upper lines okay so and we have to check the status is not closed why because if the status all the task status are closed we need not to uh, make any uh, corrections to that record so we have to check whether the status is not closed then we need to write not closed so for that we will write this after adding these queries now we will make a query child dot query and here comes if not child dot next if no record is found which is a not closed set, which means all the records are closed if all the records are closed which means if not closed record is not found as we have written here if not child dot next which means all the records are closed if only all the records are closed only then this will be happen what will happen here it is we need to close the parent record which we have queried in the upper lines okay so for that we need to write parent dot the status field back in name is equals to close and as it is a business rule we are using after business rule so we have to write parent dot update so whatever we have done manually it will be automated through this business rule now so let so now let's save this business rule and check how it will work okay so let's save this business rule and now we have to query table and let's recreate the same scenario let's create a record and create some tail tasks and check how it is working okay so let's create a record here select some random values save the record and now this courier is a parent record here with the new state so let's create some tasks and check how the business rule is working let's create some tasks with some random values so let's create some multiple tasks so that all the tasks are, tasks are closed then only the parent should be closed okay so let's create 
multiple tasks here. So we have two. Let's create one more. Now what will happen is let's open this task when all this all these three tasks close, then only the parent should be closed. Okay. Now the parent is in new state. So let's check closing one task and save it. And let's check the parent whether it is updated or not. It will not update. Why? Because the other two tasks are still in, in progress and new state. So let's save that to close the other two tasks, then check the parent. Okay. Let's close the last one also. So once all the tasks are closed, then you can see here the automatically parent is closed. Okay. You can refresh the page and check the parent will be auto closed as the all the tasks are closed here. So this way you can configure the business rules to auto close or update whatever the requirements based on use case. You can create business rules. So we'll learn some more scenarios in our next sessions. Thank you.